Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. I am just leaving the yard. I uh, already been down to the docks this morning, but it was far too dark to do any filming. So yeah, starting the vlog now. It's just gone nine o'clock. I'm going down to Chichester with a load of bricks that someone picked up last week for delivery today. According to the paperwork, they were expecting me at eight o'clock this morning, but we're going to the docks this morning. I wasn't going to make it for then, so hopefully they're okay with me arriving a little bit later. But yeah, I best get cracking. I could be here a while. Can't cross the A27. But, yeah, not the easiest thing to do when you weigh 44 tonne. And you've got two lanes of traffic to cross. Not ideal. We're across. Now I've got a hope that um, the delivery site is actually down here. Because, um, yeah, the address isn't the most accurate. I've got bits of information on three different pieces of paper. So, no telephone number either, which is helpful. There's a farm shop. At least it's wider roads, I'm guessing. There's a church. Typically, on the paperwork, there's a different name to the name that the building's actually called. So, yeah. Up here we go. Just needed to turn right off of the main road and then right again, basically. Um, yeah. It's just um, a little bit tight down here. I'm glad I walked down here first. I know exactly where I'm going now. It's up in that little gate over to the right. The trees are a bit overgrown. Don't want to take out these greenhouses. someone in here to unload me. So uh, let's go find them and get unloaded. Well, that was nice and quick. Delivery's done and uh, yeah, just about to turn onto the A27. Nice and quick. It's nice to have someone who actually knows how to use a tele handler to unload you, because uh, normally they're not very good at it. 
straight from here now it's up to get loaded in uh, Bista been there a few times over the last few weeks over yeah they are they're gonna let me out perfect makes it a bit easier for me um, yeah up to Bista to get loaded and I think that's for Stamford La Hope for tomorrow morning so I'll know for definite when I get there um, there's two loads to pick up it depends on which ones are ready and then from there I have to go and find somewhere to park up for the evening not sure exactly where, I'll have plenty of drive time to make it all the way around the M25. Like I say, it's just where do I go to? Sherwell Valley services last night after doing the collection I was only going to stay there for about 15 minutes and I woke up from a sleep two hours later so yeah because I've been there for two hours I needed to pay for parking because that's what you've got to do in the services so that's where I spent the night went in paid for parking got some food got a shower came back to the truck chilled out and then yeah I woke up this morning about half past six, went and fueled up in the services and then uh, straight down the M40, which is where I am now, on my way round to the delivery site at Stanford La Hope, just by London Gateway Docks. Uh, ETA there is 10 o'clock and I booked in for 10 o'clock, so yeah, hopefully there's not too much traffic on the M25, but it is half past eight nearly. So there's bound to be traffic, so I'm probably going to be late. Just about at the delivery site, just coming down the road towards the docks got to remember to not go straight over to the docks like I normally would do I've got to go left at this roundabout it's been a few weeks since I've been over here though uh, not done any containers out of London Gateway for a little while they've changed everything and where stuff's going to and yeah just a little bit quiet on the containers hence all the curtain side of work I've been doing not sure exactly though where it is I'm going to with this because uh, postcode is trying to bring me to here. It's only because I've got directions from someone else that I know where I'm going to. Going to be a few minutes early, which is good. Didn't take quite as long to get here as I thought, so hopefully I can get straight in and straight on a bay. I'm not sure whether this one though is uh, a bay unload or a side unload loaded on by the side but a lot of these places we're going to are back door tipping so they're having to get on there and turn them around because they're clamped on with the clamp forklift things I'm assuming I can go across this way we're doing it anyway let's go get booked in at security was at the delivery site in Stanford La Hope for about 45 minutes. Got straight onto a bay and uh, yeah, unloaded nice and quickly. Managed to get a 15 minute break in before I left. Went into Beaconsfield Services on the M40 on the way back up to Bista and had another half an hour break because I wasn't quite going to make it back up to here before running out of time. It was, yeah a little bit close so yeah had the break before now I'm only a couple of minutes away from the collection site and yeah once I'm loaded here it's straight up to crew but as I said earlier that's for tomorrow I need to double check what time it is booked in for 
and um, yeah, I'm going to be there tonight. I'm going to be there plenty of time. So hopefully it's nice and early booked in for tomorrow. They are turning, so I can go out. Um, if not, it's going to be a very early finish for me today and a very late start tomorrow. crude truck stop last night and got up here about five o'clock I think it was and uh, booked in and yeah not had an early start at all today it's just about 11 o'clock and I've only just put my taco card over to other work so I can go out and do my daily checks my bookings not till midday I didn't have an early booking but my collection for later on today is later so it's all kind of working out okay. It's just been very boring because I still woke up at about six o'clock this morning. So I did have a bit of a lie in compared to normal. But yeah, waking up at six o'clock in the morning and not being able to go anywhere, a little bit frustrating. So yeah, hopefully when I get to my collection later, I can still keep driving, get some work in, get some hours done and then make it down towards the delivery address for that, wherever that happens to be. But yeah, right now, I need to go out and do my daily checks. <laughs> delivery in crew was told out a 12 o'clock booking that's what it said on my bit of paper from my office and the bit of paper from the collection and no they had it down as a one o'clock booking so I had to wait on site until a bay become free took about an hour for them to get me unloaded and now I've just driven along probably one of the best roads I've driven along for a long time very challenging um, the A54 um, lovely views there on a nice day like it is today but yeah glad it's over was challenging but was a nice road now I'm going to my collection I'm only about half a mile away maybe a mile away depending on exactly where it is the sat nav's taking me to um, yeah, and this collection is to go back to the yard because my truck's in for its six weekly inspection tomorrow. Well, I'm finally leaving. Uh, yeah, I got it and the load wasn't ready. I don't know why, but it just wasn't. So, yeah, hour and 20 minutes for the load to be sorted out and then get loaded. So, yeah way behind now where I was hoping to be uh, and on top of all of that as well um, I'm gonna need to have another break potentially before I make it back to the yard go through these water get the truck cleaned a little bit um, yeah don't know if you can see down into the quarry but, um, yeah potentially gonna have to have another break on the way down because it's four hours and 26 minutes from here oh it's dropping down a little bit but not much can normally do from uh, the other site long rake uh, in about four hours back to the yard but yeah a little bit further up at the minute, get up this hill, through the water, speed bumps, let's slow down for these ones. Yeah, so if I've got to stop for another break, 
I've got to be back in the yard tonight or very early tomorrow morning so I might stop a little bit early I might just push on and see how far I can get um, but yeah I've got to be back in the morning because my truck's in for its six weekly inspection so yeah it's going to be a pretty late finish because that's looking like half past nine maybe even ten o'clock before I get back to the yard if I get that far so yeah a lot of wasted time today Past 10, I've made it back to the yard and I am done. Yeah. Got to drop this trailer, but I'm going to leave that for the morning and then go get the inspection done. I'm going to end the video here. Seems like a logical time to end it. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all of those good things. And I'll catch you in the next one.